Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be working with Junota Hair. I am going to be installing this headband wig. It's been so long since I've done a headband wig, but I was honestly kind of excited to install this one because um, I didn't have to put glue on my head, honestly. Like, I was just so excited that I did not have to put glue on and that this would be a super quick, easy install. So this one is in 16 inches, 180% density, and is kinky curly texture. I was kind of nervous whenever I took it out of the box because I saw how short it was and I was just kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know I'm going to make this work. So you see, I'm kind of just like playing with it. Like, how am I going to make this work? So um, I'm putting that little comb in to keep the wig from sliding back. Um, they do have combs on the inside to keep them from sliding back. So I highly recommend you guys, if you get a headband wig, to use those combs because these wigs will slide off of your head. But I was a little nervous about making it look natural or just like making it look good because I wasn't allowed to cut it or anything and alter it. So I'm just giving y'all kind of like straight out the box action. Um, but so I'm just I'm wetting the hair. I'm wetting the hair to kind of like get a base to work with. And I'm going to be going in with my foam. You will see that in a couple seconds, minutes. I don't know kind of kept this video in like real time speed i didn't want it to go by too fast since it is going to be like a quick install anyways but um i just went in with some hair foam and a demon brush to kind of like define the curls but let me tell you guys a little bit about this hair first before we get into the rest of the video um the hair was super duper soft super duper soft i believe it's like my second time working with this company and i was pretty impressed with this i mean it's a headband wig i, I wasn't really expecting much out of it but it was like super soft and I actually enjoyed the texture and once I got the wig to look how I wanted it to look, I did like it. It was like really pretty and it looked like really, really, really natural. Like, like it was literally my hair with the headband on. But um, since I wasn't able to cut it, I feel like if I were able to cut it, I could have gotten it to look even, even better, even better. But um, wanted to keep it how it comes for you guys so you can see like if you want to go get the 16 inch wig this is what it would look like so now you can see i'm just going in with my foam and kind of raking it through with my fingers and doing like the little brushing with my demon brush to define the curls um but like i was saying hair was great there's not really much you can say about a headband wig because they're like so they're just so simple like you know you just throw it on and go i like that they don't take a lot of work like if you're a on the go type of girl or um, maybe your job you don't really have time to like put in time in the mornings or at night on your hair you can just keep your hair like in cornrows or like in a low bun and just throw your headband wig on and take it off when you get home or you know if, or if you just prefer low maintenance wigs these are the wigs for you um i do like headband wigs they have actually grown on me i remember when they first became a thing i was just kind of like ew but now i do see that they're very convenient to have to have at least one in the stash have at least one headband wig in the stash for those days where you like your wig your lace is coming up and you don't have time to reinstall it or you don't know how to fix it because you get your hair done you can just take it off move that glue off your forehead and throw your headband wig on like it's just that simple so I recommend every girl that wears wigs to have at least one headband wig and if you want one that looks super natural I mean I feel like they all look super natural because they kind of like disguise it just blends in and looks like your hair but I do prefer the curly ones over the straight ones am I being on yeah I do I feel like they look a lot more natural but if you don't really care about that um, the straight ones they look just as great I, I love them. I've loved every headband wig that I've tried. Didn't think I would, but I did. But um, I feel like I'm talking so much. But yeah, I'm just going with the foam, like I said. And then in a couple minutes, I'm going to be using my blow dryer to diffuse the hair and kind of get it really, really big so that it looks really natural. 
so you guys are gonna see that and then basically after that um that's really all i just kind of went in with that blow dryer trying to like disguise those parts that look a little bit thinner because uh, i don't know like you'll see what i'm talking about as i'm blow drying but i just kind of use the blow dryer to just fluff it up and make it blend somehow <laughs> But that is going to be it for my talking because I feel like I just talked a lot, like a lot. I'm going to have everything linked down below for you guys. Um, the link to their website, the link to this wig. Um, so if you guys want to check them out, I do recommend them. I do recommend you get a headband wig. I do, I do, I do. So if you guys are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button for me. It would mean so much to me. Like this video if you enjoyed it, if you like the headband wigs. Um, if you think it looks really natural, like this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I have so many more videos coming for you guys. So I will talk to you next time. Bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,